Today I played my last ever college match. Incredibly, it's been already more than four years that I've played for Pepperdine. This is actually my fifth season, and after our last match against San Diego in the WCC tournament, we had one more postseason tournament to play. The most important one, the NCAA tournament. Now, if you remember from last video, the winner of the West Coast Conference Tournament would qualify directly for the NCAA Tournament. But despite losing, we qualified anyway for that due to our ranking. If you're not sure what the NCAA Tournament is, it's basically the end of the year bracket where all the best teams from across the country play against each other to go down as national champions. Yes, winning the NCAA Tournament is the highest achievement that any college team can possibly get. When the draw came out, we ended up in the Arizona bracket. The top 16 teams in the country get the host the first two rounds before heading to a neutral site. So Arizona were the big seed in our group. But before getting to play them, we had a very tough first round, Auburn. The past couple of years, Auburn has really improved a lot as a team and established itself frequently within the top 20 teams in the country. This time, when we played them, they were ranked number 24, so definitely a very tough test. As we usually do for this event, we got to Arizona quite a few days earlier, as this month we're done with school, so it took some extra time to get used to these courts, which are at altitude and the ball does fly quite a lot and it's not super easy to play here. Arizona was also nice enough to let us use their ice bath for recovery to make sure we were nice and ready. On match day, after a quick morning session in the gym, we were ready to start. We were on court 3 for doubles, so definitely a match that was within our ability to take it home. Especially for how well we've been playing doubles all year. Also, more than 82% of you guys watching my videos are not subscribed. And I'm sorry, but that's just unacceptable. We're currently at 3.6 thousand subscribers. Let's try and get to 5,000 by the end of the year. So make sure you scroll just below the title of this video and absolutely smash that subscribe button. And do it now. We start off returning, and you can't see me at this point as I'm all the way outside the doubles alley to make sure I'm hitting points. As you might guess, my wrist is completely screwed at this point, and and I definitely can't play at this pace with backhands. That's about the best backhand I can hit, although it does the job there. 30 all and straight away a chance to put pressure. And sorry for the audio quality, it's not good now, but it does get better for single. First break win and we're kind of down straight away and I can't really flip that. Oh man, that was just so lucky, look at that. Good first game though, as we're ready in the rhythm and felt good. It gave them a taste of the pressure we can put on them. You know, as I said, it's not easy to play in these conditions, especially the return flew a lot. We don't have too much trouble this first game, a nice deep volley here and we're able to hold. Deuce point again on their second service game, let's see if we can break that. We're all 15 down on Eddie's serve and we definitely don't want to give them some momentum because these college teams are always so tricky where they could play garbage and the next minute they pump themselves up after winning literally 2 points and they play a lot better from one moment to the other so we definitely didn't want that to happen. Me and the other net guy here are just closing towards the middle here but no one is really giving us a chance to, to cut or come forward. Eddie eventually misses. We do get up 40-30 that game though, and we could use this hole to build some momentum ourselves. Early move from the net guy, but great reflex by Eddie keeping us alive with this lob. And well, this pretty good volley here, maybe above my standards. And then close the point in this match. We get to yet another deuce point, and this could be the time where we're finally able to convert it. And there's a missed volley. The next game we don't run into too many problems on serve, as we're up 40-15 and looking to extend our lead to 4-2. We're on track for another vital hole at 4-3 and I secured that for us with this hole. A big return at 30 all leads us to the first match. I turn around to hit the forehand but I literally hit the back fence. Another chance at deuce. That's the match, 6-3. Great performance and we actually clinched the doubles points for the wave, so we're up now 1-0 in the overall match, which is huge. Now on to singles, as it's been mostly this season, playing on court 2, against British player Finn Murgat, who is a 13.46 UTR, and was ranked number 63 in the singles college ranking, so a very strong opponent. I didn't know much about him, but I knew that with how easy balls would fly here, it was important to take control of the point from early on, as it would be very difficult for the guy defending to flip that. Anyway, he holds with an ace here. It was obviously also very important to serve well. I did figure out quite early that his backhand was weaker, so I was gonna try and target that most. He likes serving wide a lot on both sides and opening up the court that way, as he does here. It was tricky to be accurate though when you were not well settled with your feet. You can see an example here. My impression is that I barely touched it and look where it went. As I mentioned before, I was obviously much weaker than usual on my backhand side and he was obviously gonna take advantage of that. 
He plays a very solid game here to hold 2-1. So yeah, for now I just kind of had to focus on my service games and playing on my terms there. Trying to play my 4 into his back end. I was going to use this combo as well from the left side, which really I use in all my matches. 30 all now, this is one of those big points early on. Facing breakpoint already is not ideal, but this serve gets me an easy four and that I can just close. And then a deuce, I ace him in typical college tennis fashion. So a bit of a scare there, but we're at two all now and his approach is not fast enough. So I can place well this pad. As long as I was already on the backhand side, I could hit it and make it most of the time. The problem is when I had to correct the shot with my hands or when I was on the run for it. As you can see here, this one goes nowhere near the court. I knew that I would have chances if I could push him back on his backhand side or play fast there. And he plays short here and I'm able to come in with the four. So bad. 30 all then, need to put some pressure here with the four, but he goes to my backhand almost immediately. Uh, which is not good and this one is so shit. He switches and goes T on 40-30 and that just leaves him to close the point out. You could tell there was gonna be a break sooner or later from all those deuce points and 30 all situations there were so far. I just had to make sure it didn't happen on my serve. He misses the back in here. And yeah, I end up holding that game and start off super aggressive here. Two points later, it's 15 30. A nice slice here and I hold my position there as I know he's coming back here and I can hit my inside in. First break point. On the second break point I missed their turn. Usually on these deuce points in call, Trevor grunts the loudest, takes it home. So I was making sure I was the loudest one out there, but he was finding depth and angle in this game with his backhand, and I end up missing. Very bitter game to process, but I had no choice but to start over. Perhaps even with my opponent feeling more pumped after saving that game. This slow deep ball to my non-existing backhand is a nightmare for me. And here I just shank this next one. I push him out with the second serve here, and waste no time to attack with the foreign. Have to be aggressive in the backhand. He does correct himself there and he's probably right, if he can get that thing to my backhand he's likely ahead in the point. He does move me well around when I couldn't hurt him though, as he does here. And ends up hitting this winner. 15-30 then, tight spot, and that's what I was saying, he gets a return to my backhand and he's ahead in the point making me run. I try to pass him but he puts his volley on the line. 15-40, that's not where you want to first serve to go and break point. Thirty forty. Stupid miss there with the slice. I cannot be upset at almost breaking him and then being broken with stupid mistakes, but maybe this was my chance to correct my wrongs. At fifteen thirty, he fakes the kick wide to go D, and honestly, there's no chance the ball touched the line. Like, I'm sorry. He obviously said, "Come on" to try and snatch that point, and the ref thought it was in as well somehow. He says side edge of the line here. But look at the replay. Obviously, hard to tell, especially at this quality, but looks more out to me. Anyway, gotta move on to the next point now, and there's still a chance to break him. He misses the down the line back in here. He goes kick wide and I hit an awful return which I think broke my wrist. But the nest trap somehow pushes this ball out so that's the break back. Now I needed to make sure I held him playing my game. I'm immediately up here and the approach is not great but he pulls a very good pass. Love 15 and he's super aggressive here, uh, yeah, can't get to there. This is looking like garbage then, gotta do something here to save the day. Let's see if I can come up with something. We get to 30-40, which means he has two set points. And that is not a 4 now with miss usually, just free and unforced, honestly. Very poor. 
Frankly, I didn't play bad their return game. Just on my service games, I played poor, and also a good chunk of points he played well. But, um... 30 all and the first game break the second set is frequent in matches and can help turn the tide so I had to make sure I did what I could to win that. And I do everything well but then miss the volley again unlike me especially on the big point. Yeah, another error giving him the game and I could feel little by little that while my fighting spirit remained unchanged, my weapons and plays were shrinking as I was making too many basic errors that are not frequently part of my game. You know, I have to be aggressive because I'm not going to win points making balls and running side to side, but also that meant taking more risk which wasn't paying off right now as I was missing. Deuce point here and I know I have to go for my shots as usual and maybe should have followed this to the net here, I don't know. But I keep the upper hand until just another mistake. So bad. It's like by now, aside from a few balls flying out on their turn, I figured out how to play on these sports. Just could not be consistent though. Smart for him to put variations in though, like the servant volley here, which I'm not expecting. Him playing well and me missing too much started to have an effect on my confidence and decision making. As you can see, this point which is absolute mess by myself. Then a 40-30 and ace. The next game at least I am on track to a routine hold and I needed to stay in the match. I try to pump myself there. Couldn't believe the last one went in there and here I waste a return. Another point here which gets kind of scrappy and weird and usually honestly I win a good part of these. But that was not the case today. 4-1 down and it's gonna be very tough now but you know I still want to give it my all and keep myself alive as long as possible. I play a good point here with this approach and then volley but he puts a great pass on the reach. At 30 all the double fall checks in. And now he was just playing out of his mind. I mean, return hitting both lines in the corner and then big four into the other side. Like, what could I do there? Still not giving up though, you know. Making this return and he misses it. So now low 30. Great serve wide there and as usual just goes to the other side after. We get the 30 all and there's a classic block return that just sails a little too deep. Match point. Ain't going down yet. Yep, that will do it. That is my last ever college tennis point. And a tough loss in my opinion. Played a strong opponent, but could have done much better in terms of my game, which I think just locked it. I mean, just too many loose errors. And the big thing that made the difference today, I think, was that I didn't play well the big points. Or in general, lost most of them. If you would have seen other videos on my matches on my channel, you might have seen that I am usually play pretty well the big points, and that is a strength of mine actually, but that wasn't the case today. Obviously when you play a stronger opponent, you gotta give him credit, and it can't always go so well on those points, but I just made a lot of free errors and stupid choices today that were just on me. Just sad that this had to be the case in my last college match, and not just another random match this year, but obviously that's the way it went, and I really tried with all I had today. As you can see, the score on the overall match was super tight, and we were down 3-2 soon after I finished. So the rest of the match, I was just trying to support my teammates. And on one of the two courts, we managed to take a third set win, leaving us in a 3-all situation. Unfortunately, the last match did not go our way, as we lost again in the third set, so that resulted in a 4-3 for them. Very tough last day in general, both for myself and for the team. Just not how I wanted to end things here, and the match we could have certainly won, as our coaches told us, as they whooped our asses after all. 
but yeah that's it guys no more college matches it's uh, now time to move on and this series if you can call it so is done unfortunately but i hope i attracted you and inspired you to play college tennis and brought you in this competitive world that keeps growing and creating great players i will film a video soon summing up my college tennis experience and career and all my achievements and relevant numbers so that could be a fun video to tune in if you're thinking about going to college or just want to know how i did throughout all my seasons there but as for now thanks for watching i'll see you next time